everyone. Welcome back. I uh, hope we all had a, had a nice day up to this point. So, today we're going to be covering SCP-993, a.k.a. Bobble the Clown. Yeah, for those of you that uh, don't like clowns, well, you shouldn't have shown up to class today, now should you. Well, too late now. Doors are locked. I want to sit down. SCP-993. Object class, safe. Special Containment Procedures Any broadcasts of SCP-993 are to be intercepted by a detailed... Hmm. Any broadcasts of SCP-993 are to be intercepted as detailed in Protocol Upsilon Beta 3 and blocked from public viewing. All intercepted broadcasts are to be recorded and stored for future viewing. Any subjects used in SCP-993 must be under the age of 10 and are dosed with a Class A amnestic after they are, hmm, after they describe the episode. Viewing of SCP-993 must be authorized by three Level 4 personnel. Description SCP-993 is a children's television program entitled Bobble the Clown, which first began airing in 19... SCP-993 seems to have been made in the style of an educational cartoon, with the primary plot of most episodes being the titular character, Bob the Clown, learning a new skill or activity. The program appears to have no supporting cast, and the setting of the program often changes between episodes. SCP-993's anomalous properties become obvious when the program is viewed. Anyone watching aged 10 years or older will immediately fall unconscious when the program begins and will remain incapacitated until the end of the program, later reporting a stabbing headache immediately before blacking out. Children under the age of 10 viewing SCP-993 later report that it teaches and advocates activities such as cannibalism, murder, torture, these activities appear to become ingrained in the subject's minds. Repeated exposure to SCP-993 can result in permanent psychotic and schizophrenic symptoms. S episodes of SCP-993 are regularly broadcast from a currently unknown source, but since 2000, all broadcasts have successfully been intercepted using Protocol Upsilon Beta 3 and blocked from public viewing. All right, now we're gonna go over the episode logs. I'll be giving you the title and a brief description of each episode. So please listen closely and take your notes. Episode title, Bobble's Kitchen Surprise. Setting of the episode is a stereotypical small American town. In the episode, Bobble the Clown appears to kidnap one of the town citizens and takes him to his home. Once there, Bobble the Clown informs the viewer on how to prepare human flesh for consumption, then proceeds to skin, gut, and cook the citizen. Episode title, Bobble in the Big City. Setting up the episode is a large American city, city, possibly New York. In the episode, Bobble the Clown instructs viewers on methods of lighting fires undetected using resources such as mosquito coils. At the end of the episode, Bob Bobble the Clown sets fire to a large building and leaves. The picture stays on the burning building for a further three minutes before the episode ends. Screams are audible during this time. Episode title, Bobble Sneaky Saturday. Setting of episode appears to be London, as the Elizabeth Tower housing Big Ben is visible. In the episode, Bobble the Clown silently stalks a woman for the most of the episode. When she arrives at her home, Bobble the Clown attacks and kills her with a large butcher knife. At the end of the episode, Bobble the Clown details methods of remaining unseen in crowded places. Episode title, Bobble Gets the Truth. Setting of episode appears to be a prisoner of war camp. In the episode, Bobble the Clown tortures a captive, a captive soldier, repeatedly asking him nonsensical questions. The soldier eventually appears to die of his wounds. Bobble the Clown then details to the viewer how to inflict painful but non-lethal injuries. Episode title, Bobble Hates You. 
setting of the episode appears to be a blank room. Bob the Clown sits in a chair in the room, staring angrily at the viewer for a full 30 minutes of the episode. Episode title, F*** you, F*** you, F*** you, F*** you. Setting up the episode appears to be Site Video Archive, where recordings of SCP-993 are stored. In the episode, Bob the Clown angrily details methods of breaching containment for several SCPs. Bob then details methods to murder researchers involved in its containment, showing detailed knowledge of their daily routines and habits, notably what appears to be an animated version of Dr. <laughs> walks past Bobble halfway through the episode. A clock on the wall shows the time as <laughs> p.m. Dr. <laughs> confirms that he is walking past SCP-993's archive at this time. Alright, I will now be showing you guys the video archive of a behind the scenes showing of an episode. This one is uh, a bit stranger than the others, if that's hard to, if that's hard enough to believe. But uh, I'm gonna just pop the disc in here and let's give it a listen. Oh, hello there. No, don't get up. <laughs> Put the gun down though. It won't do anything. I'm not real. <laughs> How can you shoot me? <laughs> There we go. See? Isn't that much nicer? Oh, friends. Fix that window, please. Oh, and smile! There, that's good. You look surprised, Doctor. You've been on a binge of me, haven't you? I like your style. You fall down and you just get right back up. Shame, though. Don't sweat let me in. Nice couch. Don't kill her, Poe. Make myself at home. What are you talking about, Doctor? Oh, no, no. I'm not coming some sort of vengeful retribution. I really don't mind you people watching me. But I do wish you would share them. You're very selfish. Taking me away from the children like that, you know. I admit I did lose my temper a bit back there, didn't I? Don't worry. I've come to terms with my new audience. You do let me at children quite often. Some people will even call you monsters. <laughs> not me. Not me, though. I don't judge. I'm fair. <laughs> what are you writing? I'm very sorry, Doctor, but this isn't an interview. I put it in the trash. There we go. Everything goes in the trash eventually. You trash your precious interview. The children trash their little minds. And even I had to trash on my older gimmicks. Oh, yes, I've been making little savages for quite a while now. Doctor, put down the gun. There we go. I think it started off small. The idea of fire or some stupid caveman got in their skulls. Children didn't really have time for me back then, so I moved on. Skinwalker shtick, though, that. <laughs> that was a good idea. Children whispered about me in the dark. Adults even painted me. I hardly had to do anything at all. <laughs> oh, then you had to get clever, didn't you? Suddenly all those superstitions started to float away and I had no children left to help. No parents to... Well, <laughs> we'll see soon enough. And yet there was one little form that I had left. One fun-loving character that I could still reach inside those kids' heads and twist. I'm talking, of course, about Bobble the Clown. <laughs> Don't look so glum. Smile! You're on television! <laughs> As of 20... SCP-993 has resumed its normal broadcasting. Reclassification to Euclid is being considered. Final episode, episode title, Bobble's Back. Setting of episode appears to be Dr. D's office. Bobble appears in the room and Dr. D registers shock, then fades, then faces the viewer and smiles. Bobble and Dr. D then appear to converse for 15 minutes, although no dialogue is audible. 15 minutes in, Dr. D raises a pistol and fires upon Bobble to no effect. Bobble then systematically dismembers and removes facial extremities from Dr. D using a large butcher's knife. Signs of movement are visible from Dr. 
for 13 minutes, after which the credits roll. Alarmingly, Dr. disappeared without a trace a day before the episode broadcasted. Well, uh, it's probably not something we're going to have to worry about, but, um, yeah, I'll watch out for clowns, I guess. Never trusted the bastards. Too much makeup, too much, uh, I think it was the, I think it was the, the nose. I think it's the weird bubble nose that always gets me. Never trusted clowns. Nah, uh, you, you can never, you can, if anyone can fit enough people into a tiny car, don't trust them. Not a good idea. Anyway, uh, you all know your homework. Go take care of that, and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Class dismissed.